Wendy Fisher opened up an entire new world in terms of female big mountain skiing. She charged so hard and with such style, she just took it to a whole nother level and it was like, I want to be like her. Without a doubt, Wendy Fisher is one of the greatest skiers to ever come out of the United States. Just so talented in any discipline. She pretty much ruled the big mountain free skiing scene for women from 96 right through 2004. I don't know about kindergarten, but I'll try to make it happen for you, Devin, okay? Yeah, since I'm going to be six. Mom. <laughs> yes, Axel. Um, on Friday, since we don't have school, uh -huh. can we have little Asher? Asher, I think, is leaving Asher. town. Um, how did we know where Ash Asher's house was? Because Asher's mommy and I became friends, and then she told me where she lived. I'm a mom first, but I tell them I work in the ski industry, and then if they inquire more, I tell them I teach lessons, and then it gets to that I'm a professional skier, kind of sort of trying to still be. Grew up skiing in Lake Tahoe at Squaw Valley, got pretty good in the West Coast as a ski racer, and then went to Berkman Academy for high school, made the U.S. ski team my sophomore year, and just traveled the world for skiing. Won the U.S. Nationals here in Crested Butte, where I now live. Went to the 1992 Winter Olympics, skied every discipline in World Cup and made World Cup points in every discipline and then just burnt out. I was not happy anymore. I didn't have fun at the high level so I quit and I was super sad that I was quitting not liking skiing anymore and kind of down and out on the sport. Packed up my bags, decided to have one fun winter and to never ski again. Ended up here in Crest Butte as one of the stops got talked into the extreme skiing contest and had the time of my life. It was awesome, it was so much fun, it was fun free skiing again and just being carefree and decided to do all the rest of the contests of that year, including the Worlds up in Alaska. Got picked up by sponsors again and started traveling with Magic Productions and won the Worlds two times, won Powder Awards as best skier and I don't know, just fell in love with skiing again. I definitely think she misses it a little bit. She's a wired competitor, I believe. Um, she might not admit that, but I, I think deep down inside, she, she loves being challenged. And I think she has that now with raising two redhead boys, but uh, I, I definitely think she misses the ski life she had. I miss heli skiing. I miss being with the group of guys that I always filmed with. I, I guess I'm making up for the loss of traveling by having a really good time with my kids. taking them in the park, introducing every aspect of skiing to them, and they've totally eaten it up. Wendy is 41, and she definitely still has all her skiing abilities. Her technique is so solid that, you know, I don't, I don't think she'll ever lose it. She could definitely come right off the couch and give anybody a run for their money right now. I strongly believe that. I, I think I still got it. I honestly still feel like I could do well. Like I, I have no different mindset after having kids or because of my age, but I haven't been put to the test. So that would, you know, that would be one nice thing to do. Go and see if what I'm saying is true, but I think it is.
be back out here. Scary like always, but exciting. I, I love this and hate it. It's kind of a combo of butterflies. So it's good. Good life experience to feel again. Any thoughts of the kids right now? Any thoughts of the kids? I've had a few. Yeah, but I can't think of them right now. I gotta think about me. <laughs> Make them proud. I've lost her, man. Can you see her? Is she, is she all right? Does she look all right? She went through the rocks backwards. Let me just uh, spread on over and check her out here. Okay, she's got her hand up. Yeah, I think she'll be all right. How's it going? It's going ouchy. Are you okay? It's going good. Yeah. It's a little scary, but... Yeah. Felt like a rookie. Well, I haven't crashed like that since I was a rookie. How you doing? A little rattled. But I always get back on the horse. I definitely do miss the travel. It's fun and adventurous, and uh, I, love, I love all the life experiences. But uh, it's also the mental side of things. I really find it interesting, the thought process that I have to go through to do the type of skiing I want to do when I go filming. Yeah.